Okay. Attempt number three. All right. So today's video is going to be about 2v2 all-ins in the case that the all-in doesn't immediately result in someone dying. So what we mean by that is let's say you're playing Lucian and Leona and Leona goes on Lulu and you insta blow her up. We're not talking about those cases. All right. We're talking about 2v2 all-ins where the fight can still be saved. So what should you do? All right. And in pretty much um, all cases, um, the pattern is that if there's an all-in going on and they target your support, or even you and you survive, you should target the enemy ADC, right? So let me show you, let me show you what this looks like, all right? So in this example, we're playing Twitch and Soraka. This is an easy Twitch trick where you just tell your support to walk up and uh, they will focus Soraka and will focus the enemy ADC, right? So this is, a, this is actually a, a trick you can use if you play the champion, but the, the, the idea remains the same. We're not actually going to kill someone here, but the, the idea is, is still relevant, right? So check it out. So they aim Soraka, we just turn around and hit Vayne a bunch of times, and bam, she lost half her health, right? So um, in this example, you know, it didn't really result in people dying, but most of the time it will result in people dying. And this is how you can save the fight even if your support gets caught. Let me show you another example, right? Here's an example where your support gets caught and she doesn't instantly die, right? That's why Soraka's take barrier is for this exact reason. So let me, so watch what I'm doing here. Look at my mouse movements and you'll notice that the instant Pike is going in, I'm like, okay, we hit we hit Lucian, right? And the the beauty of this idea is that you can you don't even have to play perfectly. Look, we're missing, we even missed a Q, right? You don't have to play perfectly, but the idea is so strong, in the sense that they dumped everything into your support and you dump everything into the ADC, you're gonna win. As long as you know your support doesn't die so fast, then they just turn around and kill your ass. So uh, let me show you some more examples. You got four more examples here. It's going to be a short video, but uh, the point, I hope the point's going to get across, right? Is that when you have a choice, unless you insta-kill their support, you aim the ADC, okay? Unless you're legit, inst you're killing them now. You, know, you want to be s focusing the ADC. You even switch focus if you have to. In this example, we'll be sh switching focus. Check it out. You know nothing else to hit, you hit the support. When you have a better target to hit, hit the ADC, right? It's actually a little bit longer. Don't worry. It's happening soon TM. Soon TM, right? Soon TM. Okay, good. Um, so here we're like, oh, hit Pike, and then instantly turn around and hit the Lucian, right? So notice how we even miss our W, and we're still coming out on top for this, right? That's the, this is the main idea. This is how strong this idea is. Even if you, is on average, this is winning, right? This is the pattern you see. So you want to implement this. It's, there's an all-in going on. They aim your support. Your support doesn't instantly die. Aim the ADC. If your support instantly dies, then you just run, right? Um, if your support instantly dies, run. <laughs> but uh, if they don't instantly die, you can fight it out, right? Now, we're just going to go through these to hone in the point, but um, you can definitely take these into your solo queue games where you feel like, you know, the people who are complaining that their support is getting caught, like here, you know, hey, my Zyra missed, what am I supposed to do? You know, we kill the vein because they're focusing the support, right? This will help you guys um, when you are trying to figure out what to do in lane when a fight breaks out, especially those in the lower elo brackets where um, this happens all the time. Oh, this is fancy. I remember this. This guy this guy gets debated into the tower. <laughs> Wait, that was pretty hot. Damn. That was pretty good. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Um, here's an example with Destiny. I played uh, I played with Destiny the other day. Okay, no, not this one. This one. Um, and uh, I was telling him, well, this is just a basic where they go for the support and the support doesn't instantly die and we dump everything at the Draven, right? So... Support's still alive. We hit the Alistar and then like, oh, we can kill Draven. So we go ahead. Easy, right? That's that's what it looks like. And the reason why this is even more uh, uh, prominent nowadays is because um, the way that... <laughs> The way that damage works is that uh, everyone has a hell of more damage now so to the point where you can just kill them by yourself, almost. Um, like we have Press the Attack, we got Lethal Temple, you got Kai'Sa passive, you got Vayne passive, you got a lot of damage now in the game. Um, so this idea is definitely, uh, it's been around for a while, but it's a lot more effective nowadays, uh, we would say. Now here's, here's, just, here's just a spicy example. This is the last example, so we're going to finish the video off with this, but um, this is a classic where they have a failed engage and you can just aim anyone. So yep, they uh, engage, failed engage on Lulu, we just all in the Draven, and then it's winning. And, and, and you want to note that it's not necessarily, it doesn't have to be clean in the sense that um, everything mechanically has to be perfect. You know how like Draven got away with like 10 health. The idea is that the, it's winning, right? 
Uh, we're in a winning situation. We're at an adv advantage because they're focusing the support. And you're going to get something when you do this. So when you see this pattern in your games, um, try this out in the enemy uh, ADC and see how this goes. Remember, this is 2v2. Uh, we're not talking about jungles or anything like that. Um, just purely 2v2 situations where the person who's being focused doesn't get blown up. And also note that on the flip side, if you focus their support and they don't insta die, they're going to turn around and kill you. Okay, so you're going to have to be ready to flash or heal or walk backwards or what. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, and, yeah, try this. See, when you see this pattern in game, try it out. Let me know how it goes. Uh, but other than that, good luck in your games. I know the season just started. So, yeah. I think it's going to, uh, we're going to also add in this example too. Because I think at least this clip is going to be, it's still very relevant. Let's say, um, I so I showed you clips where there's a 2v2 you know, engage going on and the enemy ADC made the mistake of just ignoring me, right? So what, what what do you do if you're on the other end of that? Let's say your support is going in and it doesn't look good to you. Like we're not, and we're not insta-killing them. What do you do, right? And the answer is you play it slow. You don't have to auto attack if you think it's not good. Like, let me show you an example. Um, let's say, uh, <laughs> that's Camelot by the way. Let's say, uh, let's say we go for a hook here, right? And we're not gonna kill Alistar here because he ulties. So if I just stand here and Alistar combos, ignites and presses E, I'm dead, right? So what do you do? Sometimes you just wait it out, right? Sometimes you wait it out, which is exactly what we do here. You just wait it out. You know, you don't have to super commit to an engage that's not good. In fact, that's how you end up dying, right? And because we waited it out, uh, you know, Alistar just ends up comboing Thresh because he has nothing else to do and then we kill Alistar. So no problem, right? Um, the idea is very much waited out, okay? And let's say, you know, your support ends up dying and you couldn't have done anything. That's sometimes it'd be like that, right? Um, but when in doubt, wait it out. Eh? Eh? That's not bad. That's not a bad, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, that rhymes. So yeah, when in doubt, wait it out in the uh, TV2 all in. So yeah, I hope this helped. Um, if you guys have other examples, definitely link them in the description. Or sorry, not description, the comments. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think. I would like to give a special thank you to Krasian, Qualls, Ultra Divinus, Frederick, Lund, Kelton, and everyone else at Patreon who uh, helped make this video possible. Also, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, we have a new donation system, I guess you could call it. Um, one where you can donate in order to see certain content you want me to make. So if you haven't heard about it, definitely check out Camelot. Um, I'll put the link in the side no, in, in, in this side, that side over there. And uh, you can go check it out. I think we've already made a video for someone um, watching Bang's replay. And I think next is some kind of um, silver review. So um, definitely check it out. You might be interested if you want to see something. And uh, I haven't put out a video on it yet. That's definitely the place to uh, let me know what you want. So um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys next time.